Boys in the Bright White Sports Car by Trooper. Here's a quick run through. song is it's actually in A sharp, which means um, everything is up one fret from where it would normally be. Uh, you expect a song like this because uh, it's so close to the A to just be an in A. Uh, so you could do your first position A chord like that. Um, I'm thinking maybe maybe because of the singer's pitch of his voice or whatever, they, he may have put a capo on the first fret and played first position chords here as if they were here. Um, or he maybe tuned the guitar up a step, which is unusual. Um, either way, I don't know exactly what or why it, it ended up being an A sharp, but that's the the key that I'm going to show you the song in. So uh, for the first chord pattern, we're going to start on the sixth string here, and uh, sixth fret, and we're going to put our other finger here on the eighth fret of the fifth string, and we're just using those top two strings for this for this part of the song. Now the pattern is actually three. Let's see how close I can get here. It's actually three picks on the um, whoops, three picks on the sixth string, and then one on the fifth. So it's now I, I start on the downstroke. You may find it easier to start on, on an upstroke and go. Whatever is easier for you, because they're both, you know, they amount to the same thing. Uh, I find the downstroke just more intuitive for me, and that's the way I do it. And uh, the, the speed of it is actually pretty quick, so I think the, the actual speed is closer to this. Okay, so you got to get that going pretty quick. It's going to help your uh, picking uh, coordination there. And uh, the pattern then is, once again, we're on the... Sixth fret here. And then we're just moving everything down two frets. That's the fourth fret. And then up, you know, just move everything up a string. And then up two frets. And then back to where we started. So it's really just a, a box pattern, right? We're just going here, here up, up, and then back down again. And then it goes. So that's. And there's uh, more distorted chords in the background, just. Which is just following the same thing we're playing, but we're adding, you know, maybe one one note with our pinky there on these fifth chords. And then uh, the other part is starting here on the fourth fret. Um, power chord on the uh, fourth fret. This is a C sharp. Up two frets. This is where they're singing na 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 na. Now for that type of pattern, that's just uh, you're just sort of palm muting. Every once in a while, lift your palm off. And. Um, For that chord, um, it's just these two strings, which is the fourth and the third string. 
just playing those two notes together on the sixth fret. So we're going. Kind of maybe even bend it up a bit if you want. Then go back to the fourth fret. So after that, um, we're starting here again on the sixth fret, um, D sharp or uh, E flat, depending on how you look at life um, power chord, and um, we're going to slide this whole thing up to the ninth fret, then down to the fourth fret, and then just everything down one string. So once again, that whole thing up to speed is, oops, it's uh, patterns a bit different. All right, so up to the ninth again. Down to the fourth, back to the sixth, then up two frets. And that's largely uh, all there is to the uh, rhythm parts for this song. I'm going to be doing the, uh, the guitar solo in another lesson.